disappointed the way we finished the game. And I think we let ourselves uh, let Swans get on top of uh, top of us in the third quarter. Uh, we knew that's our worst quarter, so um, we had a big emphasis on starting well and um, making sure our eff uh, effort and all that was there. We just dropped off and they kicked uh, a fair few goals and uh, the game slipped from us. So yeah, disappointing again. Um, I think the boys did have a crack for three quarters, but uh, yeah, not good enough in the end. We played one of the best sides in the competition. Uh, you know, great listen, really good learning curve for our boys. Um, really proud of their uh, their effort to, to keep fighting really hard until the end. Um, but we learned some pretty harsh lessons on, you know, the ability to win contested ball and spread as hard as they did, which uh, you know they're, they're probably the, one of the best in the competition. I think we was beating them in tackles in um, contested footy, um, everything that we pride ourselves on. So um, it's just a matter of taking it to the next level and, and making sure we do that over the four quarters. Um, yeah, as I said, you can't do that. You can't have a quarter where you get smashed um, in that area. Um, and yeah, the scoreboard showed. Probably at the Bulldogs playing with those three prelims in a row. Obviously not taking, going that one step further and um, making the, the grand final, but um, just playing in the finals and getting a taste, uh, taste of that. Big positives in the first half, and no doubt our ability to, uh, you know, to, to win the ball in tight um, and, and use it better on the outside. Um, you know, I think we were four goals down at half time, half time and could have been a bit closer had it not been for some turnovers. So, yeah, some good signs. It, it just means that we need to build and, uh, and you know, keep working hard to get fitter and stronger and be able to compete for those four quarters against the genuine top four sides.